All right, good morning. It is Monday, May 8th. We are rolling, coming into Mother's Day weekend. It was busy down here this week, mainly a lot of college kids around. So I can tell the schools are out. Kids are running down to the beach, saw some families too, but we're kind of in that lull. We'll have that, but it's still like two weeks away until um, all the uh, elementary and high schools get out. So um, that's when it'll be game on. But let's just dive into the numbers. Um, it was fairly busy here, not as busy as the last couple of weeks, but let's see what that translated to in terms of what we're looking for. So let me uh, let me do share screen and get this thing going with you guys. Hope everyone is awesome. Um, all right, let's dive straight into the numbers. So you remember last week what we were looking for? We had a lot of new listings. We got up into the mid 50s, okay, during our time span. And again, if you're just joining us, we take a look at a 72 hour window, which we believe is reflective of the week at hand, okay? So let's dive right into that. Last week, we were seeing a surge in new inventory less on the pending in relation to the new. The pending under contract had been following the new listing. What does that mean? It means that maybe as many as we were bringing on for a little bit, we were taking on, we were almost taking away just as many. We had that little bit. It, it's always been a little bit more top heavily on the new listing and that's why we've got more inventory, but let's take a look. So this week, new listings, 62. That's larger guys. Last week we were in the mid fifties and I was saying, man, that's more than we've seen in a while. If you remember, we've been hovering around the mid 30s. So here we go. Every week, I like to say, look, is this a pattern or is it an anomaly? And a lot of times these are anomalies. We'll have a spike. Then the next week, it's back down. And then we'll wait a couple of weeks. There might be another spike. I like to, we'll call it in threes. We'll give it another week. But right now, we've gone from the high 50s in new listings to now 62, which I don't remember us crossing in the 60s. Some of you that have been watching for a while, if you remember the 60s, it has been a while. I don't. 62 is high, okay? You know, we're going to watch that. Let's see what happens with that. But let's see what's in relation to the pending. So pending's 33. So that means 33 uh, properties went under contract. So 62 new came on, 33 went under contract. Look, that's not bad that 33 went under contract. That's pretty much par for the course. That's steady, okay? That pending number is steady in relation to what the last four months have been. That's, that's what we want to see. What's not steady is the increase in new listings. That's higher, okay? So if we're staying steady on the contracts, that's good. But if we keep having new listings come on, that's the challenge. So let's see what's happening. Closings, 30, makes sense. Pending and closings being right there together, that certainly makes sense with the trends that we've been watching over the last three months. We would expect to see those numbers. Price changes, 47. This is down a little bit, but it's up there, okay? So what are we seeing here? New listings came on 62, higher. Pending properties, 33, around the same. Closed properties, 30, around the same. Price changes, 47, around the same. Okay? So the only mover, the only trend that we're watching that's a mover is the fact that we're getting more listings piled up in the last couple of weeks with the same pattern of pending. So what's that going to do? We've already seen downward pressure on some areas with pricing and days on market due to the amount of inventory. And here we come again with more. Now, again, I always talk about this, whether it be the end of February, 1st of March, and now we're coming into May. Strategically, a lot of people have the mindset, look, if we're going to do this this year, let me just talk to you like this. If we're going to do this this year, if we're going to get on the market and do this by the summer, let's do it now. Okay. And look, I'm, I'm playing that game. I got a couple of them we're going to bring out before, before Memorial Day. Because Memorial Day is still kind of kick off, but everybody right now, honestly, it's kind of finishing up schools. Um, they're kind of wrapping their head around the end of the year. I know in my house, we're like dialing in for those exams. We're just ending some sports stuff. We're kind of right now, it might not be top of mind for me based on what my house is doing. And I feel that's a lot of the same out there. But having that inventory out there right now so they can get, get their mind around it when they do have downtime and make arrangements when they come into town is an ideal time. So that's why we're seeing a spike, but that's two weeks in a row. So what we're looking for is, will that trend keep continuing where we're getting more and more inventory and we're staying steady on the pending? Or will the pending get up there and chase the new levels of inventory? My gut, no. I don't think the pendings will get up there to that 50 and 60 level, you know, where we're staying. I think what we need to see is the inventory coming down. But I think we're in a time of the year where we're going to see a little bit of a spike. Then we're going to watch how do we sell through it over the summer because our days on market in a lot of situations is creeping up around at three months. And that's not conducive to getting on the market in May and selling it by the end of the summer. That would be on par if you got it done by the end of July. 
So if you're going to come out right now, you better be pretty compelling on pricing because what we're seeing is all these new properties, but we're still seeing a ton of price reductions. And I can look at the hot sheet this morning. There's not a lot of super compelling. There are some, I saw some on the hot sheet and all you guys will get it. And if you're not getting it, just let us know and we'll make sure you're getting it. But there's some out there that are coming to market that are pretty compelling that are going to get, I would say they're going to get uh, some early phone calls. But anyway, look, it's busy. It's our slower time. These next two weeks is when we, everybody kind of catches their breaths and makes strategy. But um, then we're going to be full on for the summer. It's going to be a busy summer. It's not going to be like it was um, last year, volume wise. It doesn't look like by the rental side. But the trend is that people are booking more last minute. So we, re we won't really know until the end of July what that looks like. But um, I'm excited as always. We'll be in the uh, in the saddle, so to speak, all week with a busy week. So um, just let us know what we can help you with. Talk to you soon.